It's already been a weekend to remember in Columbia, Missouri. And the hometown Tiger fans hoping to cap it in style this Sunday afternoon. A record 36-07 came through the gates of Mizzou softball field yesterday. I'm trying to maintain that ranking there in that nine spot, and they cannot lose to this Missouri Tiger team today. Balby went around, and Krings has a strikeout to open the game, just as she did getting Balby on strikes. At the same time, she has to be a little bit frustrated with how this has gone. Popped up for Laird and two away. The struggles just sort of continue for her, even though she's making contact, just not squaring it up. Right. Getting something that eluded her on Friday. And what was kind of a funky game. And it continues to elude her with a two-out walk issued to Otis. What a in yesterday's game. That's muscled out to left. Dodge on the move. And the side is retired. Frings works around a two-out walk. Florida nothing and Missouri coming up. Said sometimes it's just about contact. Jenna certainly can still do that. Into center, Falby has room. And there's the first out. You're close to a strikeout per inning, but those inning numbers, massive for anyone, let alone a freshman. Honnold drills it. Center field, Falby on the run, leaps to make the catch. A walk, she's really gaining great experience to go into postseason for the Florida Gators. There is a two out walk issued to Maddie Gallagher. Florida pitchers combined in this series 12 and two thirds innings. That's the 16th. Work ahead in the count and compete. Swing and a miss. Staley just tipped it, but Erickson squeezes it to retire the side. Nothing on the board after one. Reagan Walsh at the first pitch, chops it down the third baseline and into the corner. Walsh heads for second, and the relay is late. A leadoff double for Reagan Walsh, her second two-bagger of the series. Judging, engaging the outfielder's arms as well, so they kind of have an idea of when that extra base opportunity is there. Ava Brown to center, Hano looks up, it's out of here. Second home run of the weekend for Ava Brown, both of them in the second inning, and both have given Florida two-nothing leads. Lauren Krings just leaves this pitch a little too up in the zone. Looks like a broken rise ball. Ava Brown does a tremendous job of hitting the ball where it's pitched and sending it over the right center field fence. One two from Krings. Drilled into right and down for a base hit. Hard contact from three straight Gators. Walsh double down the left field line. In the end, they've had two freshmen carry almost the entire load. Just inside, ball four. Williams works a payoff pitch walk. Two Gators on, nobody out. So now it's the 9-0 hitter, Katie Kissler. Wants it back to the circle. Krings wants to go to third, and they got her. Ambitious decision from Lauren Krings to throw to the shortstop, Laird covering at third, and they beat Kowalewski by inches. A great heads-up play from Lauren Krings here. Not easy to do. She has to turn her back to the runner to field this bunt and make a good throw. So not always, as a hit for a slapper, the most damage a slapper is typically going to do is going to be a single. So they're making sure they're attacking. Krings gets a second strike out of Falby and a big second out of this inning. Florida has pushed to a cross, Maddie, but really been in trouble. Wallace tops it to the right side, handled by Gallagher, and the Tigers get out of the inning. But not before Florida cashes in. Florida team, it's not every day that you get two freshmen in the circle. Hey to right, Kistler retires her. Like I was saying, Nate, not always typical to get two freshmen in the circle that are so powerful with little experience and they're doing. Spinner from Abrascato, gloved cleanly by Kowalewski. And she retires the Missouri freshman for the second out. than any other, than the average catcher in Division One, Rolled to third, off Kowalewski, gloved by Wallace, got her! But Rothrock retired the Tigers, one, two, three. Here's Corby Otis, she sends a line drive, laced into center field. Arnold makes the catch. 
Like more hard contact against Lauren Kriggs today, Maddie. Yeah, we are going to. had the save in the seventh inning yesterday. Roller to first. Hey, has to get to the bag and is there on the dive. Lay out and saves a base runner from this Missouri team. Chopper to short. Kicks off the backhand stab of Laird. Walsh heading for second. Laird's throw is late. Uncharacteristic misplay for Jenna Laird in the first place on a tough short hop. It's a second double. That one may be a little bit fortunate on her part, but she did well to dig it out. Swing and a miss by Brown. Chase the rise ball, and she strikes out to end the inning. Check Swinton, strike three called. Great job of still managing to get inside to these hitters. Kaylee Linger has been known to get hit by a pitch a time or two, and we've seen that this weekend. Um, but she does a great job of working in anyways. Back-to-back -back case for Rothrock, who's punched out three times. Hurt her in five innings in change on Friday. On the ground is short. Wallace off her heel. Strong throw to get Laird. And it's a second straight one, two, three frame for the PC career. Overall, very good numbers. Softly hit to Laird at short. Handled cleanly. And there's one away. Two, two again. Williams lunges for it into right. Langer shades her eyes and in front of the track to second out. <laughs> Lifted into left center. Honnold over at a 1 2 3 inning for Krings to complete the second trip down Florida's lineup card. We're halfway home. We'll talk to Tim Walton after this. Fania Abrascato bounced one through the left side on Friday. There's a ground out handled cleanly by Williams. Yeah, Rothrock is having a phenomenal day today. Much better than... And if she and Brown could get out of this rut. Bounce through the right side. There's Missouri's first hit. Dangerous ball club. It had won four straight SEC series to start the league campaign for a reason. Daly didn't get all of it. Mia Williams on the dive. Top softly to third. Kowalewski unloads in time to beat Hay by a step. And the inning is over. Maddie Gallagher is still the only Tiger to reach base. Nobody's gotten to scoring positions third time through. To second. Gallagher makes the play. Maddie, are you surprised to see Larissa Anderson sticking with Lauren Krings even against the top of the Gators lineup for a third time? Um, I'm... Off the glove of a diving Abby Hay, and Skyler Wallace has her second hit of the series, just her third in her last six SEC games in the history of these programs. Wallace on the move. Otis smacks it back up the middle. Wallace stumbled over second and has to hold up. Skyler was headed for third, but it looked like her right toe just clipped. The one ball, one strike. Erickson, right center, no man's land, it's down. Wallace waved home, Hoddled bobbles, and that will allow Wallace to score and Otis to move to third. RBI single from Jocelyn Erickson, and it's 3-0 Gators in the fifth inning. Walsh fisted into short center, Gallagher is there, no advance. The danger, Maddie, of pulling that infield in is you worry about a little bloop, much like that one at West inning. Mentioned how well he thinks Walsh is swinging the bat. Ava Brown pops up the first pitch. Abby Hay had a drop pop up earlier, but gets that one. And Marissa McCann comes out of the bullpen to get Walsh and Brown. And She's allowed just two Missouri base runners. And make it three as Stefania Abrascato is hit by the pitch to lead off the bottom of the fifth inning. That gets away from Erickson, and Blackston goes to second base. It'll likely be scored as a pass ball, and if it is, it'll be the first all season. And a pass ball here, and Blackston was able to swipe second. French shot to right. Kistler is there. Blackston tags, and she'll move to third with one out. So that's a costly pass ball, because now it sets up an opportunity for Missouri to score Blackston with an out. Goes after the first pitch again. Bounces it to Wallace at short. 
That will score the run on a ground out. Six to three in the scorebook. Blackson comes in. Another RBI for Maya Dodge. But I think Florida will take that, all things considered, Maddie. The lead goes from three to two, getting just her second chance in the fifth inning. Fisted down the right field line. Kistler gets over, and that is the inning. So Missouri scratches out a run. Ball up. It just misses below the kneecap, but the result is a ball. Now they're off speed into short center. Huddled on the dive. And she has a few key things that she's looking for out of every position. High in the air to left. Dodge, two down. Is the other? Into shallow center. This one will be easier for Honnold. Three flyouts. Marissa McCann just keeps putting them down. Five Florida to the bottom of the sixth. Into shallow left. A long way in for Otis, who makes the call and the catch. Maddie, this feels like a really big inning for Missouri. Rothrock already a third of the way through it. Ultimately proved to be the game winning hit. Missouri went on to win it five to two. Softly lined to second. Williams is perfectly positioned. Not bad contact by Hoddle, especially having her. Into left for Otis. Started in, moves over, and she's there. Even if it's just salvaging the series, salvaging the week, it would do something to galvanize Florida. Trying to vary the looks. Balby pops it up on the infield. Laird loves it. And a frustrating weekend continues for Kendra Falby. Florida within a run. One, two. Popped up on the infield. Daly called off by the shortstop, Laird. She takes the four-pitch walk, just the second base runner McCann has allowed in seven innings this weekend. As uh, Corby wants to go to med school and be a... Gainesville can be that kind of place for a player. Erickson sends it into short left, dodges there, and the side is retired. The two-out walk does not hurt McCann. Missouri's last reps down by two to the home seven. As we go to the bottom of the seventh, Katie Chester, the pinch hitter, snagged by Kowalowski, yeah. throw from her knees! What a play by Kowalowski at third. Top back to the circle, handled by Rothrock, two down. And Abrascato will come to the plate as the only Tigers separating Keek. To first, Gels is there. The side is retired, and Keegan Rothrock and the Florida Gators get something from this series. One run on one hit, just three base runners allowed by the freshman. And Florida wins it 3-1 in the finale. Maddie, Missouri wins the series, but the Gators get to leave with uh, something less than a bitter taste in their mouths. Yeah, Florida had a totally different day today. They made adjustments all across the board. Keegan, Keegan Rothrock was a big part of that. She had a dominant day in the circle. That's all for us from Columbia. For Maddie Gerlach, our producer Walter Fields, director Peter Summers,